So <clears throat> we're doing uh, this scene from the Amalfi Coast uh, near Sorrento and um, just something nice and bright that we can sort of uh, do in wash and dry brush form. Uh, I've made up a mix of cobalt blue with cerulean blue and I'm going to start at the top with this colour. This is nice and strong. I will make it come pale up as I come down. So I'm just going to start strong. Looks like I've got a little bit of grease on my page here. Don't worry about that sort of thing. Just keep going. And I'm just going to bring that paint down. So as you're doing a wash, overlap the line before very slightly and keep going back to your paint. That's the most important thing. As you're coming down, if you spot that there's a little bit of excess forming behind you, it's easier sometimes just to take it off as you see it. So you dab your brush off and you just lift with the point of the brush. And I'm going to go into my water and I'm going to make the next line fractionally paler than this one. It's a nice, strong sky. So we want to kind of um, get that effect things not to do um, don't scrub with your brush don't do this this doesn't achieve anything all you're doing is moving one bit of paint back and two flow it on and you can see I'm just lightening as I come down so just a little bit paler than the actual picture and I'm going over the black area the silhouette area on the right because um, it's going to be darker later so again I'm now almost into water and the blue is coming with me and then I've got just the tiniest hint of cerulean and I'm going to lay that in here because there's just this feeling of warmth at the base of the uh, sky and then I'm going to fill that black area in just with water no matter if that's pink back to my blue and I'm now going to continue my wash here. But when I come to here, there's light on the water, so I can allow the brush to dry out. And as I feel the brush drying out, then I can scrape across that area in a dry brush effect. So try and keep your line sideways going and try not to go onto this foreground jetty. And then here... I'm just running a little bit of water, a little bit of blue. And while that brush is nice and wet, I'll just fill in. Doesn't matter if this goes a little bit darker. And then as it dries out, just pull across. But we will come back to that. Again, it doesn't matter if we go over these figures. Um, they're going to be black later, so they will hide anything that we do with the blue. Just neat along that jetty edge. And then the most important thing is don't go back and fiddle with anything. So I've got vague sense that I might get a watermark here because that was where I changed to my paler tone. Most important thing for me is not to fiddle with it. Doesn't matter. Just let it do it. Anything you do to it now will be make things much worse. Uh, you will not be able to, and it will be harder to fix later on. If you leave it alone, it will dry. That makes the paint surface stable, and then we may be able to modify it later, and that's your first bet.